I think it's time to do Nahida's story quest. It's about that time. Wait, where did my key go? Wait a minute, what? Oh yeah, oh, it's because I'm unlocking all of these. Oh, that's why the key is going. Oh, I was wondering why, why I wasn't getting that many keys. It's because I'm using them to unlock the story quest, too. Well, I guess it'll take two more weeks for me to unlock these. Oh, well. Hello, traveler. Have you ever heard ah, of a wait. of dreams? I didn't activate the music. No. Okay, whatever. Um, a moment of dreams. What's that? Oh, that sounds like some kind of sweet drink. <laughs> I'm afraid not. It's the name of an event we started to hold regularly. Dreams have become quite the hot topic in Sumeru, and many people are excited to share the dreams they've seen at night. The same goes for me. The last time I dreamed was when I was but a little child, so I can't help but feel excited and nostalgic about dreaming again. That's true. They, these people have not had a single dream in forever. How do you get- do you think these people will have nightmares? What if you were born in Sumeru? What if you were born in Sumeru when they were, um... When they started, when like the Akasha stopped giving people dreams. So you've never had a dream in your life. And then all of a sudden the Akasha's gone and now you're having nightmares and like sleep paralysis. Oh no. Oh, right. Everyone's able to dream again now. Yes. We organized an event to give everyone with new dreams a platform to freely share their experiences. And thus our event, a moment of dreams was born. So, it's kind of like a fireside chat. You could say that. We hear all sorts of wild and fabulous stories every day. Really, why not have a listen for yourselves? I can understand your curiosity. Yeah, but to us, dreaming is as normal as breathing. Wait, but if there are free drinks and snacks involved, then Paima might consider it. Oh, really? So you mean, you've already seen many dreams? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But to get so excited it's really nothing special actually i don't dream that much believe it or not i don't really dream all that much I, I i don't even remember the last dream i had no 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 we need experienced participants like you to share your experiences with dreaming please allow me to address you two as dream experts mm, there are just some things that expert doesn't seem to go with oh expert <laughs> Paimon kind of likes it. Of course you do. Now you seem interested. <laughs> Please, follow me to the meeting place. It won't take much of your time. Rest assured, you'll find all the drinks and snacks you'd like there. Wow, how accommodating. <laughs> Sign us up. Uh, but wait, uh, Paimon's getting ahead of herself again. We should see what the traveler thinks first. Uh, why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> You're the boss. I don't think I really have a choice. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The traveler never says anything. <laughs> he just goes with whatever Paimon agrees with. That's kind of a, that's like self-awareness from the devs. <laughs> All right, hurry up and take us to be dream experts. <laughs> Very good. Follow me then. Do you know what's the most important part of being an expert? Being knowledgeable. <clears throat> well, I suppose it must be accumulating knowledge and sharing your experiences? Nope! It's all about the title! Oh From my now god. Paimon will be known as Paimon, the dream expert! Oh my god, please someone take oh, her title okay. away. Okay. The moment you give her any sort of recognition, she runs with it. First stream you join of me? Welcome. Glad to have you here. We're just doing a hit a story quest today. Yeah. Then we'll see what we do what else we do later on. Can I not what?
Why is my computer? Oh, or what? Sorry oh. to interrupt everyone. We finally have some real dream experts joining us. Esteemed experts, in this way, please. <clears throat> now, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask them. They must be dream experts from another land. Great. Oh, I have a question. Me first. Me first. No rush. Everyone, please line up and ask in an orderly fashion. So, <laughs> hmm. Wow. Paimon didn't expect them to be so enthusiastic. My question is simple. My everyday life is very difficult, so I would like to become a slime in my dreams. How can I do that? Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's a tough one. Uh, well, is it, I mean, you could probably do that with lucid dreaming, but that takes time to, to master, doesn't it? Also, I think that voice is pro ZD. <laughs> it sounded like pro ZD. Oh, Paimon knows. Paimon's had this kind of dream before, so <laughs> she knows a thing or two. The first time, Paimon became an animal slime. Paimon was shot by an adventurer's arrow and flew in the sky all night long. Dang. The second time, Paimon became a dendro slime. A group of kids thought Paimon was a radish and pulled out all the grass on her head. Ow. Oh, it was super painful. Why does she keep dying? The third time, Paimon became a cryo slime. In the end, Paimon was captured by a chef and turned into a smoothie. Oh my god, are you sure these aren't nightmares? Jesus. And the fourth time, Paimon became a powerful geo slime and went to take revenge on the forest boar that used to bully Paimon. Okay, that one's nice. But then the boar showed up with all of its relatives and Paimon lost again. Oh my god, D does she not ever win? <laughs> Even in her dream, she's weak. Wait, why did all of your dreams end so tragically? Because slimes are monsters. Even though they look cute, they usually cause trouble and end up getting killed by adventurers. Things don't tend to end well for monsters. Believe Paimon. Believe Paimon? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? I want to interrupt, but at least she's grasped the standard tropes of adventurer stories. I suppose you're right. They are monsters, after all. I just want to experience a different life, but it seems that becoming a monster would be even worse than my current life. Hmm... Maybe I'd be happier if I became just a regular finch or fish. Mm. No, you got to become an apex predator so you don't have any sort of you don't have like anybody to kill you. Looks like being an expert is way easier than Paimon imagined. Next. Next. Oh, it's my turn. <sighs> Esteemed expert. I want to know what posture I should sleep in. So I can have the same dream as the one I had last night. Oh, that's a hard question. I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a way I could do that. Oh, actually, you know what? There kind of is. Okay, this is, this is more of an experience that I have, and I think I've talked about this before. But there is actually certain postures that I can sleep in to have my to make me have certain dreams. Like when I sleep on my back, I usually I, when I used to sleep on my back, I tended to have good dreams when I was a kid. Whenever I slept on my back, I was having a good dream. When I slept on my side, it was kind of like a, it was like in the middle. It was kind of like, it was a little bit like a nightmare, but, but it like, it didn't end tragically or anything like that. I would usually be able to wake up from it easily. But if I slept on my stomach, if I slept on my stomach, I would have a really bad nightmare and they would always end with me being poked in the back. Like, like I would feel like at the end of the nightmare, I would feel myself get poked in the back. And I don't know why it always ended like that, but it always ended like that. Whenever I slept on my stomach. So I don't sleep I don't sleep on my on my uh back anymore because you know I'm I i do not want to get sleep paralysis because that's like the prime position to get sleep paralysis in. So I sleep on my side now. But I, I don't get that many dreams anymore while I sleep on my side. But that it was like so weird because that was like the that was like one thing I had to keep in mind as a kid whenever I slept. I always had to sleep on my back because if I ever slept on my side or on my or on my stomach, I would have a nightmare. Uh, well. Please enlighten us, esteemed expert. Hey, you're supposed to be helping. Hmm? Um, first, why don't you tell Paimon about the dream you want to have again? You got that, Paimon? Oh, it's 
quite ordinary. I sat and chatted with my wife on a sunny day, listening to the breeze blowing through the valley. Why don't you just find your wife and talk with her? There's no need to wait for a dream. Well, uh, unfortunately, she passed away. Oh. Oh, uh... Shouldn't have assumed anything. Oops. No, it's fine. I didn't make that clear. I just want a chance to see her again. Um, have you tried looking at her photos right before you fall asleep? Yeah, it's not really about posture. What you think about right before falling asleep is probably way more important. Oh, is that all I have to do? Think about it. If you're the one thinking about her, and you're the one that'll be dreaming about her, then it'll be easier to connect your thoughts and dreams. You do have a point. I'll give it a try tonight. Thanks for your wise advice. Aw, I hope it works, actually. Oh, my turn, my turn. Hum, I want to know the name of the plant in my dream. I want to bring the souvenir box to my room into my dream. I dreamt of a raven flying over the wasteland last night. Uh, Does that have any kind of special meaning? <laughs> hey, no rush! One at a time! Okay, hold on, hold on. Back up. If you want additional questions, it'll cost you a dollar each. Hello. We're doing this for free, too. Questions were way too difficult. We're doing this for free. We know anything more than they do. We're Come just on. more experienced dreamers. That's all. They didn't really care about the answers. Vivid dreams are just really exciting to them. You do have a point. It's more rewarding to explore and contemplate the meaning of a question than to focus on the answer itself. True. Right now, these people are like wanderers who've starved for three days and three nights and are desperate to replenish their energy. Any explanation they get now is like pure sustenance to them, no matter how good the explanation really is. Oh, and now that Paimon has said that, you know who comes to mind? Nahida. Bingo! If she was here, she'd probably be making some similar analogy. Unfortunately, she's super busy right now and may not have time for gatherings like this. And now she's got a job. You gotta be an Dear Archon and experts, everything. We have another guest who would like to consult you. Okay. Uh, Ooh. But you saw how we answered all the questions just now. We're not really all that knowledgeable. Make it till you make it. Ah, but this guest is rather special. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's Nahida. <laughs> the Dedra Archon. Why didn't you immediately tell me about such an interesting place? She's just casually walking in. Huh? Nahida? How did you get here? Interesting events like a moment of dreams don't happen every day after all. No matter how busy things are, I'd still set aside some time to check it out. Anyway, I really didn't expect to meet you here. Oh, right. If there's anyone that understands dreams, it's you! You should be able to help us answer all these questions! You're not wrong. Alright, they can ask me anything. The more interesting, the better. She's got this. She's gonna do this for free, though? Uh, uh... Huh? What's wrong? You were all so excited a minute ago. Why the sudden hesitation? They need to build up some courage first. Oh, it's because they have to ask an archon. Hmm. They're afraid of a they're afraid of asking the archon something. Even so, it's not like I look super intimidating or anything, right? <laughs> no. And in terms of reputation and renown, you've also done many great things in Sumeru. Yet they didn't even flinch at you. Still, not quite not quite the same as approaching an archon. They know it's her? Yeah, they know it's her. Alas, the interesting questions have all vanished in an instant. It appears I'm the one spoiling the fun here. I'll see myself out. Aww. Oh, that's not true, Nahida. I don't want to get in the way of the original purpose of a moment of dreams, which is to let people gather here and freely share their marvelous dreams. Now the atmosphere here is like water poured into a container. The water is more secure and settled, 
but it has lost its free-flowing nature from the river. I just want it to be another drop in the water, not the cold and restrictive container. Mm, is she doing what I think she is? She's sulking. Yeah. Um, hey! It's alright, everyone! No need to be shy! The Dendro Archon is really nice, so please just go ahead and ask! Otherwise, she'll leave! Okay, I, 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 honestly... Uh, Alright, I'll give it a try. Okay, j just don't stare too hard into her eyes. <laughs> they're they're, oh, they're extremely big. And, they'll, and, and they will stare into your soul, honestly. Hey, drop the nicknames, would you? Besides, I don't want to become a slime anymore. Maybe a finch or fish is more suitable for me. I see. So you want to become a small animal in your dreams, right? Why do you think that sounds good to you? I guess I just want to experience something different. My everyday life is nothing but the same. The sky is right above me and the ocean just over the horizon, yet I remain caged in a life of monotony. So you want to experience something new in your dreams? Hmm. Mm, sorry, I'm getting a little confused. Why don't you seek out some new experiences in real life? Hmm. Because if I don't work, I won't have any mora. Sure, I don't want to be out hammering nails and cutting wood every day, but I have aging parents and young children to take care of. So how about a hobby? By the time this all dawned on me, I realized that my life has already been filled to the brim by trifling matters, and I have no more freedom. But if that's the case, then even if you became a flying bird or swimming fish, you will still be hammering nails and cutting wood in your dreams. The reason is you've already been caged. It doesn't matter what your physical body turns into. Your mind will still be stuck in the same predicament. Hmm. Really? That sounds pretty terrible. Then what should I do? I don't know everything that you're going through. But how about replacing your hammer? Hmm. Huh? It's becoming a therapy session. My hammer? This is gonna become a therapy session for all these individuals. <laughs> I mean, it, it's. I mean, if you think about it, dreams also do like kind of represent what's going on in your real life. At least certain dreams do, though. That's so. Right. Having worked for such a long time, you of all people must know what makes a good hammer. Well, of course, a good hammer needs to be heavy enough to drive the nail in with just a couple taps. And the handle has to have a good grip to it, not too smooth. Come to think of it, I haven't replaced my current hammer in quite some time. You should replace it. Then decorate the handle with something you like. Hmm. Maybe some ornaments, fur, or hard leather wrapping. Then write the names of your children on it. Okay. <sighs> that makes sense. I think it'd give me a good boost of energy at work. True. A new sense of adventure often begins with the little things in life. So it's like replacing certain things to make it a little- to just give it a little bit of a spice, you know? You don't have to completely make a gigantic life change. You could just, you know, just, just replace some little things. You don't need to become a bird in the air or a fish in the sea. You only need to do your best in life. And all those things you cherish will become your source of happiness. Yes. Yes, I get it now. This is a real eye-opener for me. I'll go and pick out a new hammer right away. No, I should make one of my own. Thank you, Great Dendro Archon. Nice. She didn't even charge for it. <laughs> she was about to say, okay, that'll be $300. Oh, never mind. I gave him that advice because I once saw a worker doing the same thing. Whenever he became tired, he would look at some names on the handle of his tool. After a moment, he'd start to smile. It really mm. surprised me at the time. My guess is that the names on the handle were of important people to him. True. So... So, it, so the names on the handle would inspire him to keep working. It's like reminding your it's like reminding yourself of what you're what you're trying to uh what you're working for. I mean that's not that, that's not bad actually, yeah. 
So you were just drawing from a similar example. Mm -hmm. After observation, I know this kind of behavior motivates people. But why is that? Remind yourself who you're fighting for. What, what does that mean? Uh, remind yourself who you're fighting for. Ah, oh, no. I can't find the meme. Ah, oh, it was like an image of like... It was like an image of like, you know, a, sol a soldier's helmet with a picture inside of it. And the caption is like, remind yourself of who you're fighting for. And you can put anything inside the, the fucking picture. Is it because of excitement, anticipation, or helplessness? I really don't know. And even if I could know what's going through his mind, it's still difficult to fully grasp his feelings. Oh, Paimon gets what you mean. Huh. Paimon had no idea it takes you so much effort to understand these kinds of things. <laughs> That's why I was a bit nervous just now. But luckily, seeing his happy face in the end reassured me that I didn't say anything wrong. Don't mind me, though. This is just my way of learning. Hmm. I'm happy to help if you ever need it. Hey, don't forget about Paimon. Everyone knows that Paimon's also super skilled at reading people's feelings. Uh-huh. Thanks, you two. That makes me feel a lot better. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? I already asked the experts my question earlier, but I wanted to hear the Dendro Archon's response. Oh to yeah, this guy, this guy with uh, with his wife passed away. I wonder. Hmm. I mean this meme? Oh god, please don't be a screamer. Yeah, that one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Remind yourself who you're fighting for. <laughs> What should I do if I want to see my deceased wife in my dreams every night? Hmm, longing for the deceased. Is she remembering something about Greater Lord Rook Rook of Nevada? No, um, she shouldn't be able to remember anymore. Even if you keep reliving those beautiful memories, it will only highlight the emptiness in your real life. If your wife were still alive, she certainly wouldn't want to see you like this, would she? No, I suppose not. But our time together in my dreams is not just reliving our past together. I don't know. Maybe it's because I miss her too much. But it's really as if she had come back to life in my dreams. She even remembers each and every dream. After I wake up and then continue dreaming again later, we can pick up our conversation right where we last left off. That's really amazing. Statistically speaking, continuous dreams are extremely rare. I've had a couple. It's almost as if my wife has obtained a second life in my dreams. But the more vivid she appears, the emptier I feel and the more painful it is when I wake Aww. up. Yeah. I don't know whether to call it a blessing. Because she leaves. Curse. She leaves once again. Maybe all of this is rooted in your deep longing for her. Were there any unresolved matters or regrets between the two of you? I don't know. I suppose my biggest regret is that I couldn't spend the rest of my life with her. I really felt like I was ready to move on. I wouldn't be so hesitant now if it weren't for these hyper-realistic dreams I've been having. Huh. Hmm. You know... They say that whatever's on your mind is what goes into your dreams. But dreams are and will forever be just dreams. We are people living in the real world. It's not good to be overly obsessed with dreams. Mm. All it'll do is fill up your mind and eat away at your thoughts. True. Yes, I know. That's why I'm also a little disappointed in myself. I still need to take care of our child. And it's probably not good to let her see me in such a state. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, thanks for your advice, Great Dendro Archon. I hope you get better, my man. 
It'll be okay. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. I'm a little worried about him. I hope he can find a way to cheer up soon. I've never lost a wife, so... I think I can handle things from here. You don't need to stay here if you find it boring. You're here to have a good time, after all. Man looks so tired of life. Yeah, bro is depressed for sure. Another recurring dream? Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if it's some kind of hint. What else everyone got? I didn't expect the Dentro Archon to attend this event in person. It's like a dream. Haha, <laughs> haha, <laughs> get it? It's like a dream. <laughs> what a lucky day. Just wait till my friends hear about this. You know, you would think the Dendro Archon would attract a lot of attention to her. Like, nobody else is coming yet. Are you feeling any better now? Do I have Nahida? No, I don't. I didn't wish for her. Yes. I think the Dendro Archon made a really good point. I need to stop dwelling on my wife like this and move on with my life. Now that I think about it, my wife and I always meet at a familiar place in my dreams. I know where that place exists in reality, but it's a bit far and dangerous. I don't dare to go there on my own. But at the same time, I feel as if I should go and have a look anyway. Perhaps I'll be able to move on once I see that there's nothing there. It sounds like a good plan. Otherwise, I'll keep on feeling like everything is covered in a haze. Like I'm only half awake. Yeah, I think this guy needs closure. Once I can stop dreaming about that place, I'll probably be able to get my life back together. You just need some good old closure, I think. Actually, you two are adventurers, right? If it's okay with you, could you escort me to that place? Sure, let's go have a look. Yeah, it might also be a good chance for us to unwind. Even if you can't see your wife there, taking in some nice scenery will definitely help cheer you up. Yeah, I hope so too. Alright, go ahead and get yourself ready then. Speaking of longing for the deceased, I better tell Nahida about, greater, about the greater lord. Is that a good idea though? Hmm. Nahida should at least know that she once existed in this world. <clears throat> Are you headed off to some interesting place without telling me again? Huh? Wait! Aren't you supposed to be answering questions? I just finished, and they really got a lot out of it. So many interesting and novel thoughts. Anyway, it looks like you're going somewhere. Why don't you take me with you? <laughs> she always wants to be included. It's kind of cute. Oh, there's no need to trouble you, Great Dendro Archon. I imagine you must have many other important things to deal with. She's like, take me, take me, please. No please. need to stand on ceremony. Besides, I wouldn't have asked to come along if I didn't have a good reason. I wanted to use this opportunity to discuss with you some things that are puzzling me right now. Huh. I didn't know the Great Dendro Archon could become puzzled too. <laughs> I'm not all that different from you, you know. All right, let's go. We can talk on the way. I'd better go with her. The, the whole greater lord thing will take some explaining. It's been months since Sumeru has been released, and I still don't know how to say the greater lord's name. Or at least the proper way of saying it. I want to pronounce it Ruka Devada, but I, I really don't know if that's the proper way to pronounce it. Since you know, the English translation team has gotten a couple names wrong. A couple. <laughs> Just a few, you know.
Ooh. Scatter! Dodge this! They go. French, man, French, French derogatory. English translation team has gotten a lot of things wrong. Yeah, yeah, they've been they've been messing up recently, which is um. Not good. They need to pick it up. Ah, it's always nice to go for a leisurely stroll. Huh. Do adventurers often go to places like this? Yes, of course. Huh. I guess so. So, this is where you always meet your wife in your dreams? Yes, for the most part. Our place is on the summit, just up ahead. When I saw her in my dreams, we didn't do anything but talk about ordinary, mundane topics. I'd tell her about our daughter, Hydar, and she always listened intently. Hydar. She would also reminisce about the past with me, telling me interesting stories and cracking jokes. It feels like no matter how long we may chat, it's never enough. Sometimes, it's the little things in life that matter the most. This is the part I'm a little puzzled about. I am very familiar with dreams, and normally, they lack logic and continuity. Mm -hmm. But you said she could remember what you had told her before, right? Why are we upside down? Huh. That's right. She always listened to me carefully in real life, and now, she's doing the same in my dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. Bye-bye. She always surprises me with some details from our lives in the real world. The fact that she can remember such things makes me feel like she's alive. Whoa, that's pretty weird. Well, dreams are kind of weird to begin with. However, the problem is that his dreams have too much structure and continuity. Most dreams are far more fragile than you can imagine. Yeah, you could you could tell their dreams. It feels uh, I, uh, what he's probably experiencing is like it's like it's like on the verge of reality. It's it's too it's too real. It's kind of like, hmm. It's a little too real. For example, a loud noise outside your window in the real world could cause your dream self to get loaded into and fired out of a big cannon. Mm -hmm. Another example, if you're thirsty in the real world, then you might find yourself trudging through a desert in your dream. But the appearance of your wife seems unusually stable and unaffected by any outside interference. Statistically, this should be extremely rare. Like when you need to take a piss or shit, or, or just use the bathroom in general, and then you have to do that in the dream. <laughs> that has happened a few times. I, I'm very, uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm admit it. That's happened a few times. I haven't shit the bed though, alright? I haven't pissed myself or shit the bed. All right, let's get that straight. But it has happened a few times. I don't understand it either. But I have no reason to suspect or reject these dreams. Hmm. They're too beautiful. I agree. It doesn't really feel like a cause for concern. But I still want to figure out the how and the why. These kind of dreams are novel to me as well. That's why I want to have a look at the scene your dreams have been taking place at. Let's go. Just think of it as a nice little hike to the top of the mountain. <laughs> okay, I did it. I've never I've never pissed or shat my bed. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, I guess. Huh. 
I love Sumeru's night themes. It's so nice. They used a lot of piano for Sumeru's night themes. Really nice. Soothing. Well, he really wasn't kidding. This oh. place definitely isn't safe. No matter. We'll just finish them quickly. Huh? Are you going to fight too, Nahida? Of course. This is all part of our little trip. <laughs> She's excited. Yes! I get to kill Kanyan citizens again! Oh, wait, 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 maybe not again, but... Hey. Propagate! Surrendering will be gentle. Come a little closer. Blitz. Hit. The scenery here is amazing! It also seems like a great spot for eating snacks and taking a nap! C1 Hu Tower, Yelan, in my opinion. If you don't have Yelan, I would say good Yelan. But I heard that C1 Hu Tower is also a game changer as well. But I would say get Yelan because she's. she's. Insanely good. Paimon wouldn't mind spending some time here every day either. <sighs> or if you're talking about C1 Yelan, maybe maybe C1 Yelan. I don't know. I've yet to see anything strange about this place. I do not plan to deny the power of longing. Such an intense but unquantifiable emotion could indeed have the power to organize dreams. His wife must be a really amazing person. Huh? Wait, where'd he go? Bro disappeared. Oh, so you are waiting for me oh. here? Well, guess what? I've brought someone amazing with me today. Wait, did you sing somebody? When the Dendro Archon said she wanted to come with me. Oh, he's seeing things. I can hardly believe it. Uh oh. I'll bring Hydar once I'm more familiar with the way here. She's been telling me that she really misses you. But he's uh, is he under my control? Huh? What's wrong with him? There's nobody there. Wait, Minar. Don't go that way. It's dangerous. Uh oh, he's gonna fall. Catch him! Get him! Oh my god, he's gonna walk off the cliff. Oh Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh my Jesus. Luckily he didn't fall. But what was all that rambling about? He also looks like he's passed out. That was almost that was almost an unintentional suicide. Jesus Christ. He's in the dream now. What he said just now matches almost perfectly with the dreams he subscribed to us earlier. Oh, so he fell asleep and started to have the same dream? But how did he fall asleep that that quickly? I find it a little strange as well, but we mustn't awaken someone while they're sleepwalking. All we can do is sit here and wait. True, you're not supposed to wake a sleepwalker. Uh, huh? Minar. Where's Minar? Oh, good! You're finally awake! Uh, what happened? You were sleepwalking and almost fell. Huh? Sleepwalking? Oh, right. It was all just a dream. The moment I reached the summit, I saw my wife, Minar, sitting there, and walked over to her. After I introduced her to you, she seemed a little flustered and started walking away. I told her to stop because of the cliff, and then she seemed to suddenly disappear. A strong wind started to blow around me and the sky grew dark. When I realized something wasn't right, I woke up. That sounds pretty wild. Mm. Maybe you were just too tired. I don't think so. I slept a lot yesterday, and I don't feel very sleepy now. So, he's being affected by something. Maybe we've affected the way his subconscious constructs dreams by following him here. Anyway, all that matters is that you woke up safe and sound. I think I know what happened now. I'm sorry. If it weren't for you, I would have fallen. Let's head back now. Don't come back to this place again for the time being. Oh, uh, okay. Nahida, what's on your mind? Paimon's a little worried now. Something here has, has to be affecting him, cause like he comes here all the time, and it's not by it's not really he 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 ends up falling asleep 
unknowingly. We still don't have enough evidence to work off of, so it's hard to draw any reliable conclusions yet. But I'm concerned that Ilmon's case may not be unique to him. Oh, right! Come to think of it, there were lots of people from the event who had vivid memories of their dreams. Maybe this phenomenon is already spreading. Right. And not only at a moment of dreams, there may be people like this all across Sumeru. We need to understand what's happening and the rate of its development as soon as possible. Then there's no time to lose. Let's head back. Stop standing there, Ilmon. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I just want to see my wife again, man. <laughs> Why? Why what? Why you can't wake sleepwalkers? Oh, uh... Talk about, like, why you can't wake sleepwalkers? Why can't you wake uh, a sleepwalker? Okay, usually they usually they say they'll just get startled. <sighs> yeah, usually usually it's uh, them being very startled and they'll like start, you know, attacking shit or something. I'll be very 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 shocked. So it's best to just leave them, unless they're like doing some rich, like dangerous shit. Hello, Nightheart. Back to the dream oh, club. You're back already. How'd it go? We have an emergency on our hands. Please notify everyone here that while they can continue to discuss their dreams, they mustn't try to visit or recreate the locations and scenes that they have been experiencing in them. What? Uh, all right. If that's the wish of the great Dendro Archon. But could you at least tell me what happened? You all look so serious. I see. I never knew even a dream could be so dangerous. Only in this game, dreams will be dangerous. Don't worry. I'll be sure to notify all the event participants and inform the other staff members about what has happened. Using the event registration list, I should be able to contact more people that were interested in dreams and warn them about the situation. Thank you. That would be very helpful. Let me confirm if all of today's participants are still here. Atta has already left. It seemed that he was on his way to make a hammer, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh? Where's the girl? Where's Katya? Has anyone seen Katya? Has she already left? Oh boy. Oh, I, I think she already left. She said there was somewhere she wanted to go. Oh no. Did she want to look for the place from her dreams too? Can you tell us where she went? Yes, she did briefly mention it. Somewhere near... Chatracum Cave. A cave? Right, She's going all the way to the we'll cave in the middle Please of the night. Help us tell the others not to do anything reckless. Sure thing. Oh, who would have known things would have turned out like this? It's strange that it's only affecting a few people, though. Only affecting a select few people. <laughs> hmm. Whoa! Freeze! What's happening over here? Look, she's sitting over there. Oh my! It's surrounded by monsters. Come on, let's rescue her. Oh my! All right, watch this. I see everything. 
try not to enjoy this too much. <laughs> it's as easy as this. Look at that aggravate damage. Holy. I really need DPS Lisa. She seems to be in the same condition as Ilman earlier. Then again, I'm pretty sure Nahida is also making the damage like absolutely insane. Yes, but luckily she hasn't been injured or jolted awake yet. Let's carefully move her somewhere safer. See you tomorrow, Professor Aisha. <sighs> huh? What? Why am I back here again? You were dreaming just now. Dreaming? But what about Professor Aisha? Oh, I see. It was all just a dream. Uh. Well, that makes sense. After all, it hasn't changed a single bit. Huh? What's it? They put noblesse on Nahida? Yes, they definitely did. Nearly 20 years, and it still hasn't bloomed. <sighs> The plant? Does it have something to do with your dream? Please, tell us what you mean. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm still feeling a little groggy. Please give me a moment here. <sighs> All right, where to start? Right, this plant. So, Professor Aisha gave me this plant just before she left. Okay. She was a good friend of my parents. And my first real tutor. She was also an outstanding Amorta researcher. In addition to her extraordinary academic talents, she was also skilled in combat and would accept lots of work from the Adventurers Guild. Oh, so you mean she's left on an adventure? Yes. When I was about 10 years old, she told me that she must go look for the secrets of the abyss. Oh. And that she would be gone for a long time. Oh, yeah, no, nah, she gone, gone. <laughs> I grabbed hold of her and wouldn't let go. I didn't know what the abyss was. I just knew that she was like family to me. She hugged me, and we cried for some time until I fell asleep. When I woke up, I was already back home. Yeah, I think she's gone, gone. She still decided to leave, but had left behind a letter for me saying that I was the person she cared for most in this world. She claimed that Investigating the abyss could help more ordinary people protect the people and things they care about. She had obtained some important evidence during her past adventures. If she didn't set off right away, she might miss the perfect opportunity. Nobody tell her that my sibling is the ruler of the abyss order. <laughs> Nobody. Guess Ad Astra Abyssosk isn't just a slogan. Mm -hmm. She left a seed in the letter, telling me that if it sprouted and bloomed, then she'd come back no matter what sort of risky situation she was in. She said she looked forward to seeing me all grown up. But strangely, I've tried watering it, feeding it, everything I could think of. But I've never been able to get it to bloom. I even went to ask the Amorta researchers, and they couldn't explain it either. Hmm. May I have a look at the plant? Of course. I was hoping the great Dendro Archon could help me solve this problem. Let me see. Hmm. Why did her footsteps... Why did her footsteps sound like they were, uh, they were walking on solid ground? When she... They sounded like stilettos walking on solid ground when she's literally barefoot. <laughs> We've never seen that look on Nahida's face before. Uh... Hmm. The... Could it be an expression pleading for help? She... She looks a little unwell. Is she... Um, hold on. We'll be right back. Uh-oh, this is bad news. She dead, ain't it? She dead. That's why it's not blooming. What's wrong? You can't tell what's wrong with the plant either? No, I immediately understood what's happening with that plant. I'm just not sure if I should say it. Imagine it's a fake plant? That could be a reason. This plant is not known to the academic world. It's a new species that her teacher managed to cultivate by some special means. Really? Judging by its features, I can tell from the moment it sprouted it'll never be able to bloom. Oh. <laughs> 
It can't be. It means that this Professor Aisha she keeps mentioning might have foreseen the danger. Yeah. And was prepared to never return. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. From my experience observing people, she would undoubtedly regard this as a brutal revelation. When forced to confront such brutal truths, people may break down into tears, talk nonsense, or lose their tempers. I know she has to face the truth, but at the same time, I don't want to hurt her. Tell me, what should I do? Mm, I mean, it's never easy, but someone has to do it. I think it'd be better if the Dendro Archon does it, honestly. Because, like, I don't know. I think she has more importance. I think she has more importance than, you know, some random travelers. Like, we're not doctors or anything. We're just here for the ride. Yeah, that's a tricky one. Um, seems like you've already got a good idea of the feelings she might experience. I'll tell her. Just pushing it all on you? What if she just gets angry at you instead? It's all right. There are all kinds of people, and the examples you observed are just the most extreme cases. Someone has to do it. Someone has to take it, and usually, you know, you know, whatever happens, happens. But somebody has to say it. It's not like you could keep it a secret forever. Because they'll, they'll take it out on something. Um... There's always a way to work through it. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Let's go back and tell her. No notification squad? Did you not get a notification? Bruh. Thank you, huh? Twitch. It'll never bloom? But how is that possible? If a plant is unable to bloom, doesn't that mean it can't reproduce either? All that's left for it to do is slowly wither away. It seems like that may be exactly what your teacher intended. Are you saying she never intended to return? Seriously? So everything she said was a lie? But she meant well. Since the separation was inevitable, she hoped that you would be able to come to grips with such a cruel parting a little later in life. She really cared about you. Yeah. Her love, care, and attention to you? All those warm moments were real. I guess she had hoped that you could understand and respect her choice after learning the truth. I see. Sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it's just... Just so much to take in. The dreams are so beautiful. Yet reality is heartlessly cold. Yep. I really thought she had come back. I had so much to tell her. That's real life. You know, dreams are better than reality, at least sometimes. Um, We're trying to investigate these dreams. These dreams may not be as pure and beautiful as they seem. Some kind of power may be exploiting your feelings. Huh. Really? Yes. So with that in mind, until our investigation is completed, Please return to the event and ignore any further temptations from your dreams. I see. Thank you for rescuing me. And sorry for the trouble. Luckily, the plant didn't get hurt either. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything left to remember her by. True. Thanks, Traveler and Pyman. Rip teacher. She seems to have finally accepted the truth. But I think she'll still need a long time to come to terms with her feelings. My bad. <clears throat> I saw her waver the moment you mentioned love. It was almost like a gentle ring, arriving just in time to put out a fire that was about to spread. It's because people have something called empathy. Empathy? Hmm, I see. <laughs> this is valuable knowledge indeed. So is her trade-off be is her trade-off for being the god of knowledge just having just lacking a lot of human emotions? I wonder. By the way, 
the way, you said there may be something that's trying to exploit their feelings. Any idea what that might be? But why does she, why does she why does she lack human emotion or like certain understandings of human emotions? Yes. What's common between Ilman and Katia's cases is that they've both lost someone dear to them. And now, they get to meet the people they cherish in their dreams again. And the people feel more real than anything a regular dream could hope to create. Instead of interpreting it as a result of their longing, I have to consider a more antagonistic explanation. Someone is taking advantage of their longing. What would be the motive for that? Yeah. They're just causing these people to dream. What are they after? This is exactly what we need to investigate. Anyway, let's pay another visit to a moment of dreams. I have a bad feeling about all this. I hope things haven't gotten any worse. Maybe because she's been locked up for 500 years? Okay, yes. But still... I mean... A child understands empathy. They may not understand like the definition or the meaning of it, but they still do have feelings for it. Maybe that maybe that's what it is. It's not that she doesn't feel empathy or that she doesn't really like have empathetic feelings. It's just she just she doesn't understand it. She she just doesn't have like a definition or like a or like ways to put it into words. Which is what she's known for. Cause it's hard to put human it's hard to put human words or human emotions into words. Humans are too complicated for definitions. She takes things too rationally given she's a god of wisdom. She doesn't know how to process emotions most of the time. Yeah, probably. She's too smart that simple emotions are too hard to decipher or she tries to think logically and make use of metaphors to compensate. Hmm. Mine's a bit of a robot. Isn't that okay, wait, hold on, let me let me let me search something up so I don't sound stupid. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. It might sound stupid. Never mind. It would. It might sound stupid. I'm not gonna say anything. What? Oh, they already. Wait, what? They slumped. What the hell? <laughs> We're back. How's everything here? Uh. I am so sorry, Great Dendro Archon. We're still trying to figure out how to explain the whole thing to everyone. Because of your warning, we've brought dreamers here even if they were completely unaware of the danger. But some of them have already fallen asleep. Uh -oh. and they haven't woken up for a long time. I fear there's nothing we can do about it. Bruh. A moment of dreams is just a small interest group. We don't have enough staff members to handle this. Just as I expected. It seems my guess was correct. It's the Dendro Archon. She's back. Uh, what happened? W why have we been gathered here? Many of you here have been experiencing some beautiful dreams. 
But I'm sorry to tell you that based on our investigation, there's some kind of conspiracy behind them. So even after the Akasha is gone, these people can't even just enjoy dreams. There's always got to be somebody conspiring and coming up with some evil plan, dog. Come on. Before we learn the truth, please don't try to recreate the scenes in your dreams. Whatever you see, don't be tempted by them. There's always something going on in Sumeru, bruh. Huh? But I don't think it's a big deal. Aren't we just dreaming? It's not like dreams will have an effect on others. We've already met two people who ran off to the countryside alone and got caught in dangerous situations by falling to the temptations in their dreams. That's right! These aren't just dreams! It's serious! Alright, I get it, I get it. So does that mean once we have some conclusive results from the investigation, we can continue to enjoy these dreams? Uh, maybe. I'm, yeah, uh, I still want to visit my sister in my dreams. It will depend on the results of our investigation. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say sounds a little offensive, Great Dendro Archon, but we had a discussion with the folks who just arrived here. In all of our dreams, we were able to reunite with people who are very close to us. They all seemed as if they were alive again, which makes us reluctant to wake up. Yes, that's also what we've observed in our investigation. So if the results of this investigation would mean an end to those dreams, that'd be quite cruel to us. All of us understand the danger, but perhaps you can't quite understand just how much those people mean to us. Mm. I don't think everyone will be on board with the plan to abandon these dreams for good. Before the conclusion of the investigation, they'll at least want to meet the people in their dreams one last time and say goodbye. We've never had such a difficult situation before. It appears that not many people are willing to cooperate. Mm. Uh, I, I, mm, it would be better to maybe just say that you don't, you don't have to give up on the dreams. We just have to figure out like what's making them so dangerous. And then like once, and then, and then once we get rid of that danger, then you can dream about your wife or something all you want. So they still want to return to their dreams despite knowing the danger? Because it's not like they're going to stop having dreams about, the, about their, their loved ones once they, um... Once we once we get rid of the danger, I don't know. Hmm, it's it's hard to clearly say who, it's hard to clearly say who's right and wrong here. That's right. Compared with these sweet and beautiful dreams, our warnings of danger are dull and emotionless. It looks like the situation will inevitably spiral out of control. The more time we waste, the more people will ignore our warnings and return to their alluring dreams. So. What should we do? Seems we have to go into a dream and find out the truth for ourselves. Pedrush, is there anyone here who's experiencing a marvelous dream right now? Ah, uh, let me think. Uh, yes, this way. Good. Please take us there. Mm. This lady refused to heed our warnings and fell asleep here a little earlier. Debbie? Bye bye, Alice. Mm. She's only asleep and hasn't started sleepwalking. It seems she hasn't sunk too deep into her dream yet. Do we also need to fall asleep if we want to go into her dream? Don't worry about that. I'm Lesser Lord Kusanali after all. <laughs> okay, slight flex. Now, don't be nervous. Just close your eyes. Imagine yourselves as waves gradually rolling onto the beach. You slowly wash over the shore and sink into the sand. We're here. <gasps> Lumine! What's wrong, Traveler? You look a little disoriented. Uh, no, it, it's nothing. It seems this whole dream situation is getting to me, too. Really? Paimon didn't notice anything. Anyway, seems like we've made it into the dream. I thought we would arrive at some familiar scene, but we seem to have landed in a completely unfamiliar place. Actually, this is very familiar to us. Whoa. Amazing. I think we've been here before. Theoretically, 
we should have gone straight into Debbie's dream. Things do seem to have gone a bit sideways here. Anyway, let's see if we can find any leads. Tiny Nahida. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. We need to see what... Alright. We need to see what they put on her. Oh, what are stats looking like? Okay, that, that crit damage. Oof. Okay. The, the bad crit damage. They got her signature weapon. Okay, that's not bad. And we're fine. R1, 2. Of course, it's no bless. Yeah, what else did I expect, honestly? What what else did I expect? C3. C3 Nahida with no bless oblige. Okay. Alrighty then. Fine. The little, little shrooms. Hey. <laughs> Surrender and be gentle. You've been a naughty boy. <laughs> Propagate. It's a little, it's a little odd that there's no, um, there's no music in this, in this dream either. <laughs> no bless impacts. Or C2 kind of cracks though, yeah. I hear that uh, her C2 is like essential for her. Not really essential, she's already pretty good, but like her C2 literally just makes her broken. One of the best units in the game. Wait, is there something up here? They had to put this up here for some reason. No. Nothing. I guess. Huh? A door? Hmm. Wonder where it could lead. Well, it's not like we have any other way to go now. Let's go in and have a look. Hmm. We. Ow. Why is this here? Or why are these here? They have to be here for a reason. Is there a chest somewhere? Wait, wait, is she- wait. Is that Nahida's- Is that sound Nahida's feet? Huh. Interesting. She has a bell on the back? Oh. Interesting. It's cute. What if I use this on Lisa? Oh, wait, hold on. No, this didn't work. No. Well, this one. No. I guess, yeah, I guess these don't, work, don't really work. Oh well. I'm gonna go. Whee. Ooh, trippy. Hey, this place looks familiar. Isn't it Puspa Cafe? Oh, Paimon sees Debbie. She's right over there. Looks like we've come to the right place. These alluring dreams often portray a scene from real life, which concurs with our previous findings. Really? Well, what about that space we were in just now? Maybe it was like some kind of hub. These dreams may be connected. You can't mean... This is another collective dream? Yes. Given that so many people have been experiencing these beautiful dreams, 
I would say it's very likely that they're interconnected. Yeah. Compared to an interconnected dream, independent individual dreams would be much harder to manage and manipulate. Mm hmm So there has to be someone who is manipulating all of them at once. Ah, oh, Paimon gets it now. Well, let's go talk with Debbie. Oh, but there are some other people next to her. Uh, are they dreaming too? If this base is exclusive to Debbie's dream, then the others beside her are most likely the people she cherishes. Anyway, we should confirm that first, just to be sure. Huh. How do we do that? Hmm. Just leave it to me. Okay. Is she gonna is she gonna mind control her? Tapping the Hida's elemental skill, all, all schemes to know, allows her to hear the inner thoughts of those hit by the skill. Oh, it's this. Holding the Hida's elemental skill, all schemes to know, to select a specific person to hear their inner thoughts. They seem to be, there seem to be many within this dreamscape whose hearts cannot be read by all schemes to know. Okay. Can't do it with them. This would be an interesting okay, okay, uh I know this is like an actual thing you could use in the in the overworld, but how many people can you use it with? Is it only with people inside a Sumeru or can you do this with everyone? Mm, the coffee here still tastes the same as ever. <laughs> you two have traveled all around to that. Surely you've all tasted better coffee than this. Only in Sumeru? Aw. I suppose so, but no matter how good things may be elsewhere, nothing beats the taste of home. That's right. It's hard to change your tastes. Anyway, here's to your return home. Welcome back, everyone. Small indie company. Hopefully... Oh. How could they be... Hopefully one day we'll be able to have, like, uh... Have her be able to read the minds of people in other other regions, too. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Huh? She sounds a little hesitant. I've confirmed that this dream belongs only to Debbie, because I'm unable to hear the thoughts of the other two people with her. So, this is the power of the Dendro Archon? Uh, I'm gonna better watch your thoughts from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I don't often use my powers like this. It's rather impolite. All right, I need to get myself ready. It won't be easy to break it to her, but there's no avoiding it now. The, the Great Dendro Archon! Uh, what brings you here? Hi. I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, but... Have you noticed that what's happening here doesn't quite match up with your memories? I... I don't quite understand, Great Dendro Archon. What do you mean? This is gonna cause a lot of confusion. I get it. The Dendro Archon is trying to say that it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that we're able to gather here. Hey, how about a cup of coffee for all of you? My treat. We just returned from a fruitful adventure. No, do not drink any coffee from these people. Memories? A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Think carefully. You of all people should know what really happened to them. Are you sure that meeting here and chatting the day away like this isn't just a product of your own wishful thinking? Uh, uh, yes. The reports from the Steambird were true. The ship they were on struck a reef and sank. Ah. And I never heard from Vasima and Gaspar again. Ah, that's a bad way to go. Hey, come on now. What are you talking about, Debbie? Yeah, trust your memories. Nothing you see here is real. I get it now. This is a dream. Rip, rip bozo. <laughs> you said rip bozo to so many NPCs. <laughs> but since it's my dream, it doesn't matter if this is real or not. I enjoy the way things are here. I no longer have to face the tragedies of real life. These friends mean the world to me. Nobody else can understand me like they do. 
There's nothing wrong with continuing this dream. Is there? Mm. I worry that if you were to continue dreaming like this, the lines between dreams and reality will gradually become too blurred for you. These dreams will always give you what you want, while reality remains full of pain and difficult situations. If you are not careful, you can get hurt. Don't worry. I still have control. I won't let it go that far. That's what everyone says. Are you sure? Hey, how about we put all this troublesome stuff aside and get back to our coffee and snacks, hmm? There's no music in this entire dream, which is interesting. Whether it's just a dream or real life, you should be happy. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's supposed to be a glitch. You can't just brush off something like this. We don't even know how you people got here or where you even came from. Don't push it, Paimon. These people are important to Debbie. <sighs> Sorry. Paimon didn't mean to upset anyone. No, it's all right. I understand that you're just trying to look out for me. It seems that for now, this place is still relatively harmless for you. But I wonder if there's any way to go deeper into the dream. Huh. Now that you mention it, I once heard a strange voice tell me that there's an entrance here. I'm not interested in checking it out at the moment, but maybe I'll go in and have a look later. Okay. Thanks for your help. Just as I expected, we're only on the surface of this dream. Let's go. Okay. So how will we solve this? Okay, hold on. Give me a sec. Give me one sec. What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. Yeah, I'm back. Sorry. <clears throat> Pretty sure the Sumeru Tavern theme plays here? I think so. This is the same tavern we saw before. I see everything. It's all just a dream. Aw. Should be music, uh, so I guess it's bugged for me. Oh well, more music for me to put in. I don't know. Huh? What are we doing here again? Uh, wait a second. We were just up there. No, down there. Uh, did we go up or down? <laughs> don't panic. This is how dreams work. We've left Debbie's dream. But the dream is still continuing onward. I'm not sure where it'll lead us. This dream has the ability to create imaginary people, which is why people are so unwilling to wake up. If it weren't for what we just saw, Paima might still find that a bit hard to believe. So what awaits us further in the dream? I have a guess. If these dreams are connected, then there should be some sort of order to them. The fact that Debbie was able to realize that she was dreaming means that she is not very deep in the dream yet. Mm. But the space we're in has been turned upside down. Do you remember the characteristics of dreams that I mentioned earlier? Oh, right! Dreams are chaotic. That's right. It's possible that we're heading deeper into this dream now. Mm -hmm. And the deeper we go, the closer we'll get to the essence of the dream. Okay, is that why the screen was turned upside down earlier on in the in the quest? Right. So the answers might be waiting for us deeper in the dream. Were they trying to hint us to this? Yes. And we should get ready for whatever we may encounter. Also, I wonder if the uh, if the traveler is gonna have enough mental fortitude to be able to uh, to resist seeing Lumine in here. Hmm. It looks like we may need to put something inside there. <laughs> hmm. Boing. Hey, 
Yeah, there's supposed to be music for sure. There's no way they leave this uh, without music. Why did my thing bug now? It's weird. It's odd that it bugged out now. Don't be such a brute. Ow! 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 ow. Try not to enjoy this. Got a chest. Ooh, ooh. Whoa. nice. When it rains, it seems to disappear slowly. Yes, and it appears again as soon as the rain stops. It's less like a flower and more like a dendro slime that's trying to keep out of sight. <sighs> Here we go again with Nahida's what? analogies. No. Make it rain again. Make it rain again. Come on. Oh shit, uh oh. The Temple of Wisdom. Yeah, I don't want to deal with y'all. Committed to memory. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh no. Ow. I'm gonna ruin my gloves. I wonder why her voice this sounds different in, in her <laughs> in her severely damaged lines. Did, Let's spark did they ever provide an explanation for that? Thank you for the raid, Spidey Arjun. Appreciate it. Hope you had a nice stream. Grab this real quick. Nice. Five primos. I forgot to turn on the music. No, I turned it on. It's just not working right now for some reason. It just decided to bug out. I turned it on after the uh, first cutscene, so it's just bugging out right now. Probably direction change or the original voice lines recorded years ago. Wait, Maybe. weren't we already here a little earlier? This is probably Ilmon's dream. Huh? Why would he start dreaming again? Didn't we warn him? Yes, but it seems that the danger isn't enough to stop him from longing for his wife. Based on what we've learned so far, he must be sleeping more deeply for his dreams to appear here. That man want to see his wife. Unfortunately, he already knows us from before, so hopefully we'll be able to wake him up. He just misses his wife. That is kids too? Oh, this is kids. Ilman! Oh, it's you. Incredible. I didn't know you would appear in my dream too. Did you say dream? Wait, so you know this is a dream? Of course. Such good things rarely happen to me in real life these days. Here, let me introduce everyone. This is Minar. My wife, who I mentioned before. Oh, there it is, isn't it? This is our daughter, Hydar. Hello. It's a great honor to meet the Dendro Archon. Whoa, Dad. You know the Dendro Archon? That's amazing. You don't want to say, but, um, Rip Bozo? All right. Come on. Come on. And what's this? <gasps> is it a new toy? <laughs> no. Nahida, this <gasps> doesn't seem to add up with what we were expecting. It's a talking toy. Yo, it's limited edition. Where'd you get this from? Mm, you're right. Let me think for a bit here. Ilman, did you secretly go back to that place again on your own? Oh, right. We didn't see him in a moment of dreams earlier. Paimon thought he'd gone home. 
Sorry. I just had to make sure that Hydar could get a chance to see her mother. You brought your child here knowing that there's danger? Come on, dog. I had gotten pretty familiar with the hike, so I brought Hydar with me. I'm just glad we didn't meet any monsters along the way. Yes, I'm glad too. <laughs> I didn't expect her to grow up so fast. It must have been very hard for him. I regret not being able to fulfill my role as a wife and a mother. No, don't talk like that. Let's leave all that unhappy stuff behind for now. Even if we're in a dream, it's still a blessing that we've been able to reunite in this way. What should we do now? Should we tell him the truth? Maybe. You can... You can let me break the news. I should be the one to do it. It's your Archon's duty. I'm sorry, but... I should tell you that your dream did not create us. We are real people with our own consciousness. Like the last time we met, we are still investigating this dream, and we've already learned some things about it. So you mean, there's something nefarious with this dream as well? Yeah. Hmm? Ilmon, what's going on? It seems the reunion of our family is destined to only be temporary. Is mom leaving? Maybe. But in all likelihood, that is indeed how things will end. Oh. Aww. No, mom, you can't leave! I'm afraid I don't quite understand what's going on. Don't worry, Haidar. Mom's not going anywhere. Please, don't cry. Minar doesn't understand any of this. Is she just a kid? I'm fully aware uh -oh. that this is a dream. So that's why I've never told her the truth, but never mind. It's not like I would know what to say. I mean, I don't get any of the complicated stuff. But regardless of whether this dream is good or bad, you're here to resolve it, right? Yes. Then please, let us enjoy this moment for just a while longer. Uh. Regardless of whatever caused this dream to come to pass, I feel extremely grateful to have had the chance to reunite with my family. But does this dream really have to disappear? Ah, uh, it's gonna be... Ugh. It's too hard to convince these people to leave their loved ones. That's like, so, that's like one thing that, that's like probably the hardest thing to do is just to give up you can't really tell somebody to, to stop wanting to be happy with their with their loved ones that they don't have anymore. It's a little... I don't know. I'm afraid so. Sorry. Okay. I see. Please, come this way. You can go even deeper into the dream by heading in this direction. I have heard that the further down you go, the more pleasant the dreams become. And the more you want to stay. The answer you're looking for may also be found there. Go ahead. Thank you for helping us. And I'm truly sorry. You're welcome. It's not like I have any say in the matter. I'm just an ordinary person after all. Who am I to interfere with the work of a god? And also, isn't... Hmm. You also have to kind of remember, is this, is, it, is this really his real wife? Or is it just his imagination? Because this could quite... Because this could literally just be... This could literally just be the, the imagination of his wife in his mind, in his dream. It's not really her. It's not like a ghost form of her that's talking to him. So, is it really worth staying here? I don't know. I'll be right behind you. I should at least let Minar and Hydar know what's going on here. Otherwise, my daughter might be mad at her mother after we wake up. We're not doing something bad, are we, Nahida? That depends on how you define good and bad. Mm. Everyone hold hands! 
Well, since it's provi- what it's- once it's- mm, Well, since it's- it's putting is people in danger, cool maybe it is. How can I ever get her to come to terms with Maybe this? it's good. Since it's- since it is still putting people in danger, it, it's probably for the greater good, but I don't know. They have no thoughts? Yeah, this is literally just... It's just him. She's not even here. Is this too cruel for Hydar? How can I ever get her to come to terms with this? Yeah, she's not even actually here. That or they just didn't allow us to talk to Hydar, but I don't think they would miss that. to be getting more and more aggressive. Regular stairs wouldn't try to attack us. All right, let's recap what we've learned so far. Right. Something seems to be off about our theory. Ilmon is clearly aware that he's dreaming, and he's enjoying it. Rather than dreaming on a deeper level, he almost seemed more awake. I believe we're on the right track, but we just need another explanation. It's not that the dreams are getting deeper, it's the owner's attachment to the dreams that's getting stronger. But you would never mistake dreams for real life, right? Of course not. Although, sometimes I wish I could. <laughs> only only if it's about Lumine, though. Sometimes, Paimon almost wishes her dreams could be real. But it's just a quick thought. It's not long before Paimon's thinking about other things. Like sticky honey roast. <laughs> Listen. We're real beings living in the real world, and that's where our focus should be. This also explains the insubstantiality of our dreams. No matter what they may become, we don't really care. But if we decide to abandon reality and embrace our dreams, then our dreams will become far more substantial. Oh, wait! Paimon's starting to get it now! Your mind will begin to build the dream far more attentively, which in turn will make it feel more real. Mm-hmm. Do you remember how the Akasha can turn dreams into Nyana energy? Constructing a realistic dream consumes a similar energy. Which means there's another dream out there that's responsible for this. Does that mean there's a host of these dreams here like Milu during the Subzero's yeah. festival? Mm-hmm. I guess that. If person up, this collective dream will end, right? I guess that. Mm-hmm. Most likely. But the collective dream in Sumeru City was created by the Akasha. And now the Akasha has been turned off. This has nothing to do with the Aranara, and humans are not capable of creating a collective dream. Which means... The host has something to do with the Akasha? So there's somebody out there who's still got an Akasha. Who could it be? It has to be a sage, isn't it? Huh? So, did someone manage to restart the Akasha? Hmm, that's impossible. But they are probably a scholar of the Academia who had a close connection with the Akasha. Even so, how did they manage to do it? And how did they choose the host? Let's keep moving. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the end yet. Once we know their motive, all the questions will resolve themselves. Hmm. So, once again, someone from the Academia could- okay. We're assuming, but if it is someone from the Academia, once again, the Academia is proving to be more of a nuisance than actually helpful. Well, maybe it is a little more helpful, but it still shouldn't be providing this much of a danger to people. Like, come on. Your first thought was I'll hide him? I don't think so. Yeah. 
Oh my lord. Make yourselves at home. Commit it to memory. <laughs> oh, there was one thing over there. Oh, I missed it. No. Oh, the water that used to be here has turned into rain. Then let's get through here before the water level rises. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, wait. The Academia is the worst is the worst nation's organization so far into that. So far, yeah. At least the most dangerous one. I don't know if I don't you know, maybe they have provided something useful. Cause you know, they have done a lot of research into things that you know not a lot of other nations have, have done. But, you know, it'd be great if they would stop trying to, you know, experiment on humans. Or involve, involve the citizens of their nation in, in dangerous tests. It'd be great, you know. Fatui has that crown, true. <laughs> Stesnaya does have that crown. I don't know if it'll, I don't know if it'll stop having that crown ever. Their own army is literally like a terrorist organization, so <laughs> I'm literally gonna stop having that crowd ever. We finally made it! The destination is right ahead. So it would be it would be Shneznai and the Fatui, and then Sumeru. Wow. And academia. At least so far. Uh, well, it's just new to Paimon in this dream. <laughs> this should be the final destination. Huh? Really? It's more ordinary than I imagined. Yeah, these are just ordinary city streets. I have powers related to dreams. So it's usually easy for me to tell who's dreaming and who's created by dreams. I guess only those who have thoroughly accepted this dream will be able to come here. Mm. There are so many people here. How can we find the host? Don't worry. I have a way. Well, let's wait. We can read their minds, right? No. Oh wait. Denise is always so calm. <sighs> I wish I were the same. He's just in an ordinary dream, so it shouldn't be him. Hmm. Everyone hold hands. Shadia has such good taste. I can never go wrong with her opinion. No, it doesn't seem to be her. Who doesn't want a dream to last forever? There it is. He's just entered the dream recently. No. It's definitely not him. Hmm. However. Hey! Sometimes I wish Rakesh could be more assertive, but I guess I'm also happy enough with the way things are. <laughs> no, it's not her, unfortunately. I see everything! You know, I've heard that plants grow better if you play music for them. Ah, uh, it is an academia student. Look. And on that note, it's been a while since I last heard you play. Sorry, I've been a little busy these last couple days. I was reading Moses. Yeah, oh, I read it as that too. Archon. What a pleasant surprise. I, I think they I think they purposely left it as mosaic <laughs> so they don't get in like, I don't know, some sort of trouble. Hmm? Oh, welcome, great Dendro Archon. And your companions too. 
Welcome. I'm Amira. I run the flower shop here. And this is my husband, Moses. Yes, how may Moses. we help you? You already know all about me. There's no need for all the pleasantries. Perhaps I should call you the dream's owner? Hmm. Oh, smiling. <laughs> As expected of the Dendro Archon. I'm sorry, Amira. It seems my research has attracted the Dendro Archon's attention. Why don't you go back to the flower shop? I'll come help you a little later. Okay, of course, dear. I'll see you later. It appears that I was too naive to think I could deceive the Dendro Archon in person like this. To avoid looking like too much of a fool, allow me to ask the first question. How well would you say you understand this dream? This dream was built by the Akasha, and it has the power to create imaginary people who no longer exist in the real world. As for you, you found a unique way to become the owner of this dream, mm. going so far as to have even given up the ability to wake up again. Given up the ability to wake up? So he's just in a he's just he's just in a continuous dream forever. <laughs> Impressive. You truly are the embodiment of wisdom. So could we find his so could we find him somewhere? Please tell me how you were able to arrive at such a conclusion. In return, I'll answer the question you're most curious about. It's simple. Apart from you, this space only consists of real people who are dreaming and imaginary people who are created here. Although you are here and appear no different from the others, I can't sense your dream. How can I wake up a person who's already awake? Fascinating. Fascinating. Since you're the fully awake owner of this dream, it can never collapse from you waking up. Theoretically, this should also give you absolute control over this place. I have to admit, it really doesn't get much better than that. But even knowing all of that, one question remains. How did you do it? Yeah, how did you do this? Is it the answer right in front of you, great Dendro Archon? It's because I've dedicated my entire reality to this dream. What? I uploaded my entire consciousness into the Akasha when it was still running. What? How? What? Your entire... What? How? That's kind of insane. Actually, this all started because of an accident. My original goal was not about the Akasha or a collective dream. No. You were motivated above all to create a hyper-realistic person. The desire to reconnect with a real loved one is the one shared sentiment between all our dreamers. That's right. However, human models are too complicated. Only the Akasha has a Nyana energy supply powerful enough for me to generate and sustain my models. The Akasha is truly magnificent. Hmm. If I siphoned a minuscule amount of its energy, nobody would even notice. And even this minuscule amount of energy was already more than enough for my purposes. So he's just been like siphoning a tiny amount of amount of energy this entire time. Enough so he could do this? Wow. Even using just crude methods, I was still able to train a fairly realistic person. I named my first work Amira. His voice is nice. <laughs> huh? You Bro. mean the girl we just saw? She and I entered the academia on the same day. Starting with admission procedures, we bumped into each other six times on just that first day. And because of that one day, we eventually went on to fall in love. We studied, conducted research, and made breakthroughs together. Our rhythm was always in step. I felt like we were two separate bodies that shared the same heart. However... Ella's later took her from me. Unlucky. So you're gathering others like you. Yes. I need more training samples to perfect Amira's personality. Mm. I found their details in the Akasha's database. Using the pretext of testing for mental health disorders, I implanted signaling devices in their bodies. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. The details of the... Wait, so this guy, wait, so this guy specifically searched for people with literal, like, with mental health issues? Damn. This way I could connect them to a network, and Amira could feel their yearning. Little by little, they helped her to up. grow and develop a warm, human personality. To improve my efficiency and allow myself to focus on nothing but my research, 
I uploaded my consciousness as well and became a part of the network. Hmm. So, technically speaking, it's not that you won't wake up, it's that you can't wake up. Mm. Yes, because the Akasha was suddenly turned off, I lost all of my Nyana energy. I became imprisoned in the very network I had constructed. At first, I panicked. But, after coming to grips with the situation, I realized that I could restart this world as long as I could find a replacement source of Nyana energy. That means everyone in the network is providing you with Nyana energy! Mm. That's all there really is to it. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just saving them as well as myself. Mm, debatable. I provide a beautiful dream, and in return, I harvest their Nyana energy as fuel for the dream. They can wake up any time they wish. People need to sleep anyway, so why not have some beautiful dreams while they rest? Okay, well, I don't know if it was on purpose, but unfortunately, one of your dreams also killed- also almost killed somebody. They almost walked off a cliff, so... I agree. This is the home we spent a great deal of effort on to build for ourselves. Yeah, she's right. We're staying here of our own free will. I don't understand this at all, but I just want to spend some more time with my family. I don't want them to be sad. Thank you, dear. Great Dendro Archon, I hope you can understand. You don't need to gather around here. It's all right. The Great Dendro Archon is nothing if not kind and considerate towards her people. She won't interfere with what we're doing here. Uh-oh. Now he's playing dirty. Again, it's going to be hard to convince these people. He used the imaginary people he created to influence the real people. He's turned the real dreamers against us. It seems like I won't need you to answer my last question. You're willing to tell me all your secrets because you have nothing to fear. If you use real people as your weapon and turn them against their Archon, then there's nothing the Archon can do. They just want to be with the people they cherish. I don't think there's anything wrong with me providing them with that opportunity. They don't wish to eternally part with their spouses and friends. What's so wrong about that? But are these even the real people? If you understood humans a little better, or had also experienced firsthand the absolute devastation of loss, then perhaps you wouldn't be so cold towards us. Mm. She's not really she's not really cold. If you had used your talents and determination for a just cause, you could have become a sage of the new generation. <laughs> yeah, well, that's exactly why we ended up in this situation in the first place as Subaru. <laughs> Unfortunately, you've committed one of the six cardinal sins of the academia by attempting the forbidden and fearing none. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, Sumeru somehow gets so many people with a lot of good knowledge, but they all end up turning they all end up turning out to be like morally horrible people. You equated people's feelings with cold Nyana energy and deprived them of the pain that they have to face. You lured them into these dreams and even now remain completely unaware of how evil all of this truly is. Why do some of these smart people have have like questionable morals? Is there a correlation? <laughs> Pain? Luring? Those kinds of things haven't existed here from the moment this world was created. She's right here. This is Ilmon's child, Hydar. Huh? My daughter? What's wrong with her? Ah, that's why. Because she's not even real. This dream relies on a set network, which means that only those with devices planted in their bodies can enter this world. Carefully think back and retrace your steps. I secretly went back to the mountainside with Hydar. Minar was already there waiting for me, and Hydar was able to see her mother. Ah, oh, you mean she isn't actually the real Hydar? Yeah, because we 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 tried scanning her and she didn't have anything on her. No. Because unlike you, she can't enter this dream. The moment you came into this dream, it created a Hydar to realize your wish of reuniting with your family. So, tell me, where's the real Hydar? Oh yeah, she just sta- Oh, she just sitting out there wondering what's happening. Oh no. Oh, that'd be awful to see. 
Oh. She's still out there on the mountainside. That's right. And she must have been terrified to see her father not in his right mind. Not to mention the monsters in that area. The situation is very dangerous. If Hydar's still out there, then... What are you talking about, Dad? I don't understand. I must wake up right now. I can't leave her there alone. Oh. <sighs> it seems the others have also remembered something. People try to avoid pain and stay in their perceived bubbles of safety out of an instinct to protect themselves. This is human nature, but it is also one of their weaknesses. They're also leaving something behind as well. However, why are there still so many people striving to move forward even when they know the path ahead is dangerous and painful? It's because people don't only live for themselves. They have families, loved ones, friends and communities. They have dreams that they are still trying to achieve. But in this dream, you showed them only the most comfortable and soothing things. This entire world has been built on the foundation of buried and unseen pain. It's all just a well-devised scam. It seems like I've stayed in the dream for too long. You've been scamming us. I'm out of here. People leave. I still have so many things I haven't done. It's <laughs> people leave. Huh. I thought gods didn't understand humans. That would have explained why they created such a flawed world where countless tragedies took place. <laughs> I didn't expect you to arrive at the answer through sheer power of observation. Kind of real, but... But unfortunately, it means nothing now. If you wanted to spend a little time in the waking world, go right ahead. In any case, I wanted to spend some time alone with Amira. As long as this dream continues to exist, you'll come back. Humans aren't as strong as you think. And even if you're a god, they won't always listen to you. It's time to purge all the extraneous data and noise. Ah! Monsters, be careful! Oh boy. All of you, please get out of here and find somewhere safe. I am the master of this dream. I can create endless waves of monsters with oh, that's snap true. of a finger. That's true. Don't worry. They'll wake up before they get hurt. Amira doesn't like to see others in pain. If you know what's good for you, leave now. It's strange doing this without any battle music. <laughs> Share my knowledge. I see everything. Go, go, Baron Bunny. No one escapes my sight. <laughs> you haven't won just yet. This dream is mine! If I go into hiding here, not even an Archon can ever find me. And as long as people yearn for happiness, they will return here and rebuild this paradise! <sighs> hey, oh, he's gone. <laughs> Uh, what is that? The stream is spiraling out of control and it's collapsing now. Yo, uh oh. Are you sure you are you sure they won't get hurt? Oh no. Amira. Are you sure they're not gonna get hurt, buddy? Oh, she's about to turn. Oh. Amira, are you all right? Oh, I, I don't feel well. Oh, this is. No, no, no! Please, no! It backfired on him. Oh, and there he goes. He just. Get away from there! Ruin my flowers! What should I do? Where did go? Left because he doesn't want you anymore. Damn! Bro, bro, bro! The Temple of Wisdom! He 
come a little closer. Who am I? I'm not Amira. Glad that's over. But what happened just now? He's not very proficient in using the Akasha's technology, and he spent a lot of Nyana energy creating monsters. Now the system is out of control. All the people he created also turned into monsters, including Amira. Good job. Now you have it's nobody. Terrible, even for a dream. Now you have absolutely nobody. Even Paimon's freaked out. <sighs> Paimon can't imagine what they're going through. Like a horrible nightmare. The good news is that the chaos seems to have subsided. Now we only need to wake up the people here and let them return to their real lives. Amira. My dear Amira. They're all gone. It was just a big dream after all. I couldn't change my fate. And my knowledge turned out to be useless. Yes. What a cruel world. Do you still think this is our fault? I don't care about that anymore. The Nyana energy used to sustain this dream has all been transformed into monsters. This dream will soon collapse in my consciousness along with it. Let me disappear with Amira. I'd rather turn into dust than to ever wake up again. Damn. Is he okay? No, he wants to die. <laughs> I think he quite literally wants to commit, uh, unalive. It seems that everything that's happened is too much for him. He's lost all hope. Uh... I want to say that he's only getting what he deserves, but I can't help but also feel sorry for him. I don't know. Do I? Do I feel sorry for him? Hmm. Do I? I think seeing Amira turn into a monster was punishment enough for him. After comprehending the hollowness of the unreal, it's time to revisit the meaning of existence. Existence? <laughs> I'm different from the others. I've long given up everything outside of my consciousness. Using my knowledge of the Akasha, I have a way to extract your consciousness from here and put it inside a knowledge capsule. The Academia has probably kept your body, so you should be able to wake up soon. No need. Just let me disappear. Reality means nothing to me now. This isn't compassion. I won't let you escape your punishment by simply disappearing. <laughs> As for your life after that, it will be up to you how you want to exist. <laughs> so he said, your punishment is life. <laughs> All right, Traveler and Paimon, we should go back. We can finally wrap up this whole thing. Your punishment is to live, lol. <laughs> uh, uh, uh huh? Oh, is that the Greater Lord? That's supposed What's to be wrong, a leaf of the Greater Lord. Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, let's tell the people here to gather at a moment of dreams after they wake up. <laughs> it was a debate club? <laughs> oh my. Oh, great. You're awake. Everybody has started to wake up. And we've heard similar reports from around the city as well. From the looks of it, you were able to successfully resolve the issue. Yes, though it took us a good deal of effort. There will be many people gathering here shortly, so please do your best to maintain order. I need to go to the academia with them now, but we'll be back soon. Man. They were teasing us a little bit. Yes. But it may take some time for him to wake up after his consciousness returns to his body. We can leave the rest to the Matra. They were teasing us a little bit with with showing us um with showing us Lumine and also the uh, the leaf of the the Greater Lord. <laughs> Come on, Hoyoverse! I know you want to. Come on. Great Dendro Archon. 
How can I help you? I would like to check the registration records of a Kasharawar scholar. He should be in an unconscious state right now. Okay, just a moment. Sorry to keep you waiting, Dendro Archon. We have confirmed that there's a scholar named Benuni who's been unconscious for a while. Benuni. The cause was improper operation of the Akasha. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, and is still receiving treatment at Bimarstan. Huh? Isn't his name Moses? I guess he didn't want to be recognized or bothered by anyone. Please, give the knowledge stored in this to the Matra and ask them to import it into Benuni's brain. Understood. But for safety reasons, I need to know why. It's simple. This contains his consciousness. It's long been trapped inside of a dream. <laughs> That's a lot of things. That's something. Uh... He's committed an act that affected the safety of Sumeru. After he wakes up, I'll inform the General Mahamatra of all the details. That's definitely something to casually drop on somebody. <laughs> I see. I'll take care of this right away. Thank you. Great Dendro <laughs> And they just accepted it just like that, okay? Mm -hmm. No problem. <sighs> Alright. Everyone should have gathered at the moment of dreams by now. Let's head back. Just another day in Sumeru, I guess. I'll take care of it as soon as possible. Don't worry. Just put this USB stick into his brain. <laughs> What she's going to say. What will she say? Hello, all of you who have just woken up. I'm sorry for interrupting your beautiful dreams. I may have acted a little cold when handling things in the dream. I sincerely apologize for that. Dreams have amazing power. They inspire us to remain resolute in the face of adversity and help those with aspirations achieve their desires. But dreams also have the potential to exploit people confuse the senses, and distort the truth. Unfortunately, you are all chosen as prey for an elaborate scheme. As I've said before, I am still learning, and cannot fully empathize with the pain of all the loss you've experienced. But just take a good mm. look around you, and you'll see many other people who have had similar experiences. You should be proud that you've Acknowledging been able to her gather mistake. here and look toward the future together. The path of life is long, and it's hard for us to see the destination. This leads us to ask a lot of difficult questions. What's the meaning of life? What's the purpose of my existence? Why do I keep experiencing pain and loss? I don't know, but it is what it is. <laughs> of course, the most comfortable choice is to stop progressing, give up thinking, and just keep repeating whatever you're already familiar with. Whenever you have such thoughts, just look at the people and things around you. Some people work hard all day so that their families can have a hot meal on the table at night. Some people travel all over the world in order to create art that resonates with all of Tavat. Some venture in search of the world's secrets to prevent rapidly approaching, yet still unknown, world-shattering catastrophes. Mm. Life is not just about yourself. Each and every one of your actions shapes you and the world around you. Look, She's spitting. Friends and family will remember what you've done. And even some people you've never met may benefit from your actions. Therefore, many people will strive forward to forge new paths, even if they have to endure great pain to do so. Once you begin your journey on that same difficult yet rewarding path, You'll come to know the answers to those big existential questions. Yet they will no longer feel as life-defining as they did before. But if you were to believe that life is nothing but an empty, ephemeral dream, then that's also the only thing it will ever become. Max? You are free to choose how you want to live your lives. But as your Archon, I should first make this information known to everyone. In the end, it's up to you whether you want to embrace a beautiful dream at the cost of your real life. Max. Nahida 
said she wanted to speak with us alone. It seems like she went to the plaza in front of the academia. I'm really glad I reached out to you earlier. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to handle this situation on our own. Sure, these people would be, um... Great job as well. This would have gone out of control really, really fast. But somehow the traveler is always in the right place. So Just give me a moment here. But somehow traveler is always in the right place at the right time. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. I'm really sorry. Luckily, Hydar wasn't injured because of my stupid mistake. Dad said you're amazing. You're real heroes. Thank you. I discovered that Nasser and I get along pretty well. We both have pretty straightforward personalities. It also turns out we both disagreed with a Dendro Archon. One <laughs> in real life and one in the dream. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Interesting thing to bond over, I guess. Since we were neighbors in the dream, how about we rent a place together? Sounds good. I can't afford a house on my own anyway, but I'm sure life will get better. Aw. Nice. How about her? I'm getting ready to go on an adventure, and I'm taking this plant with me. I shouldn't just sit here waiting for her to come back. Professor Aisha was so determined to explore those secrets, so I should go take a look too. Thank you. May we meet again in the future. And they were roommates. I'm off to the abyss, traveler. See you later. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Oh, don't let her give us a plant, please. You're amazing, Nikita. Even Paimon was nearly won over by that scholar in that dream. Well, he's very good at manipulating the weaknesses of human nature. But perhaps he himself had fallen prisoner to them long ago. Professional gaslighter. He even... He was so good that he even made himself believe that he deserved to be in the dream. That dream was incredibly beautiful and enticing. Ordinary people couldn't see through it and easily lost themselves within it. But as long as you can still wake up, you can still move forward with your life. You've also learned a lot, Nahida. Huh? What makes you say that? You can really empathize with others now. Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but we saw how considerate you were with all these people. Your speech just now really connected with everyone. You did a good job. Thank you. I've heard a lot of sad stories along this journey, and several of them have touched my heart. You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong. Yeah. And what they wanted was also not unreasonable. That's why I could understand them when they tried to resist us and protect the dream. But all of my understanding and stirred feelings probably can't even account for even 1% of the pain they've experienced. I don't think this 1% can be seen as an example of what you call empathy. Mm. You're too hard on yourself, that's for sure. Nobody's capable of having absolute empathy. <laughs> Alright. I suppose going out into the world will help my confidence grow. I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge, and that's why it's hard for me to put them into words sometimes. Yeah. Benyuni, or Morseis, said that I had never personally felt the pain of loss. But I have a vague feeling that this isn't true. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> a, uh, she doesn't know yet, though. The moment I entered the dream, I felt like I was wrapped in a blanket of warm feelings. I wonder if the traveler will tell her. It was so warm that it felt like I had returned to the start of my life. And I didn't want to wake up anymore. Huh. Did you see something in the dream too? But when I opened my eyes, the feeling was gone without a trace. If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say I can no longer see words on a piece of paper after they have been erased. But I can still see the slight indentations of where the words had been written. 
Hmm. So she still does have... So she still does have those feelings of, you know, the Greater Lord being gone. But now that I've experienced this dream, I think I can say with confidence that I won't dwell too much on the meaning of that warmth. It's enough that I can tell I was once supported by that warmth, and its existence has allowed me to get to where I am today. If I dwell too much on its exact nature, I would be putting the cart before the horse. I gave a speech to inspire my people, so if I were to fail to live up to those words myself, then that would be too embarrassing. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Greater Lord has already shaped Nahida through her actions. Even if she has been forgotten, Nahida's mind and willpower are all the proof that she once existed. Yeah, okay, so I'm guessing that even if Ermansoul does get rid of people's memories, it'll the feeling will still be there. So it's not like you can truly get rid of shit out of this world. I, I mean, I guess, you know, I guess Scaramouche's story quest. Scaramouche's interlude proved that a little bit. Instead of her telling the truth, I should respect their decisions. Hey, what's with that serious look? You keep looking like there's something you want to say. Is there anything you want to tell me? Uh, I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. Since we just woke up, let's stretch a little bit. A new day is about to begin. A new day. A new beginning for Sumeru. And that's the story quest. 60 primos. Woo! Let's go! Woo! And no more story quests. Until Ahitam comes out. And that's in like a week from now. Yay. <laughs> Now do, now do the hangouts. Okay. It, okay, this is... Okay, it's gonna take like two weeks for me to unlock all of them. Alright, so I have time. I have time before I could do these. I have a lot of time before I could do these. So. Well, that was good. I liked it. I like that story quest. Hmm. What is that quest tab? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What about top story quests? Obviously the Archon all of the um Archon's story quests are pretty good, like Zhongli's, Venti's. Even, um, I think even part two of, of, uh, A's story quest is pretty good. Mm. Okay, but you know what? What I will say is, hmm. This might be a little, this might be a little harsh and a little... I don't know. I don't know how else to put it, but I think this. Okay, well, this is part one. She'll surely get a part two, right? Like the other Archons, except for Venti. But I feel like for now, this one is a little bit of the weaker Archon story class. I think, um, from what I remember, most of the other ones were a lot better than hers. Hmm. I know Zhongli's part one was kind of was was good for. I think I enjoyed Zhongli's part one story quest. A's part one, I'm not too sure. I think I think hers was on on a little bit of the weaker side for me, but her part two was definitely strong. Nahida's is is Nahida's is still good, but it's 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 um it's still a weaker a weaker of all the archons. Venti's part one is uh, pretty decent, I would say. Hmm. 
Need a story quest part two, second weekly boss for Sumeru? Yeah, probably. Because we still need like the pet. We still need the pet, uh, the pet boss. So every region has one. We have Dvalin. We have Dvalin, Ajdaha. Uh, the Raiden Shogun. Even though it's not a pet, she's more of a puppet, but you, you get what I mean. And then we're supposed to have Sumeru, so... Yeah, Moss had us too. <laughs> yeah, Bore yeah, Boreas is also, yeah. They have two. Moss has two of them. The rest of them have one. Sumeru needs its needs its pet boss, so. Or its subordinate boss, I guess. We'll see what they come up with. Isn't Raiden's pet technically Yai? Technically, yes, yeah. A, uh, the Raiden Shogun is more of her, her puppet, you know. Dendro Chicken part- Dendro Chicken 2.0 for Sumeru Pet. Well, when will I upload this to YouTube? I'll have to see, because I still have to render the, um... I still have to see what I want to do with the other story quests. I might edit it, might not edit it. I might just put it on the VOD channel. I don't know, I'll see. Because all the hype for them is, is already gone, so... I like uploading things when they have hype around them, but I'll see.